Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Saturday and I think it's the first official day of the entire week that there hasn't been snowing and it seems warm enough. I haven't been outside yet, so it seems like it's warmer. We have been like dead in the middle of a polar vortex situation. We have gotten like three feet of snow in some areas because of the wind. The roads have been so bad that I haven't left the house in like a week. That's why I haven't vlogged because I was losing my damn mind. And that's not something you want to put on the internet. So today, just got an email. Today I am free because Alex is out to lunch with his friend Osmi who came into town for a job interview. So I think I'm gonna go to Target. Mm, Target, for no reason. There's some lip products that I am interested in seeing if there's other shades. And then I might get some Panera for lunch because they're right next to each other. But I finished filming my February Oh Hello Box live stream on Instagram. If you haven't heard that the uh, February box is available, it's available. So if you want to go check it out, I will link it below. I feel like you guys are the ones that get the blunt, uh, br blunt? The brunt. The brunt of me talking about the box, but it's officially available if you're curious. And yeah, the live stream went pretty well, I think. It's really funny because I'm used to filming, so there was a part of the live stream where I kind of like fumbled, and in my mind I was just gonna like restart because it's, I'm filming. Then I was like, no, everyone saw me make that mistake. It's live. <sighs> but I'm so excited to go outside, guys. Like, I feel like you can tell that I'm, I'm a little batty. And I cannot wait to go to Target and just wander around. Maybe I'll look for a um, Valentine's Day gift for Alex or a birthday gift. I've already gotten him a couple things for his birthday that I've already given to him because I'm a garbage person and can't wait until his birthday, which is on Monday. But we are throwing him a tiki-themed birthday party on next Friday. So that's mostly his gift. But, you know, if I find something cute, I'm going to get it for him. Two things before I run off to the Church of Target. First thing, Alex got me this game last night. He was out with Osmi and then they went to this new board game place that actually wasn't officially open yet. And he saw this cat lady card game and had to get it for me. I love it, it's so cute. Cannot wait to play it with this game with him shortly. And then this is this month's sticker subscription. So this one's available now as well. It's our March houseplants kit. I love it. I mean, of course, look at that. That's me in a nutshell. So I did this spread so I can take some photos with it, but I wanted to show you guys because you're actually, I think, getting the first peek of what it looks like. I did terrible this month at getting it done ahead of time. So usually I like to post a few spoilers before the month starts, but there hasn't been any. So this is the first one. There you go. So when I was collecting responses or assumptions for a future assumptions video, someone assumed that I only ever get macaroni, which is true. I usually always get it. But today I went with soup as well because it's freezing. Look who found me. Hey, hi, hello. Today is Tuesday and I completely forgot that I filmed stuff before this for Saturday. So I'm going to show more stuff to you because that's basically what I do in the vlogs. There's just so much cool stuff that I have to show you. So let's do that. I'm pretty sure I should change the name of my studio to Room of Surprises and Show and Tell because that's basically all I do in here with the vlogs. But I wanted to show you guys how my January spread ended up. I love how these spreads look at the end of the month, how crazy they look and busy. This is what February looks like so far. And then I did March. I was going to do a plan with me, but I was feeling super anxious and planning always really helps with my anxiety. So I decided just to focus on my anxiety rather than filming a video and did that planning. But I added some photos to the top I've been enjoying doing that, and I think it turned out pretty cute. I've also slowly started getting ready for the Chicago Planner Conference next week. I have my workbooks all printed up. You guys have probably seen this before. I am doing my Traveler's Notebook workshop twice for two different sessions, and I think I'm gonna retire the workshop after that. I'm getting kind of bored of it, so I already have another workshop idea in mind that I'm going to start building and creating materials for, but everybody at the Chicago workshop is going to get this little pack of a B6 insert, some stickers, as well as a pen loop, so I put all those together. So I am also working on new releases this week to come out on Friday, and I made this book tracker build your own bookshelf kit. 
So it will come with two sheets, and this first one has all of the books, and then the second one has the shells and all the little accents and characters. And I think I might make a smaller version too, so you can put it in like a traveler's notebook, but this one fits perfectly in the notes pages of an Erin Condren, and then you can just write which books you've read or which books you want to read and make your own little shelf. And it features Gallifrey and TARDIS, which will also be stickers that are coming out this release as well. So since this is a vlog, I had to show you guys a spoiler of the upcoming March subscription box. This is for the Save the Oceans kind of like environmental themed box. And you know how I like to put like a silly kind of childish item in each one. So this is a little plush octopus. I'm basically obsessed. Oh yeah, I added some new enamel pins to my board as well. I finally got some simply gilded ones. So I have the cute little bunny as well as the little bow. So a little desk real talk right now. I actually haven't done one of these like desk conversations in a while, but the past couple of days have been super anxiety filled for me and I haven't had that happen in quite a while actually. And I haven't officially formally talked about this in like a video or anything, but I'm actually on medication for depression. And since I got on that medication, things have been so much better for me. Like I wanna do a whole video about it, but I figured I'd just tell you guys first since you're a smaller group. And that has been so helpful and it's like completely life changing for me. But the past couple of days have been really, really hard. Like, I don't, I don't know how to really fully explain what we're going through because obviously it's like it's personal it's also business related like behind the scenes stuff but sales are not the best and it, it's normal for this time of year but it just has been hitting me really hard uh like i feel like i try really hard and i put a lot of effort in and i create products that i'm proud of and sometimes they just don't stick you know and that's that's normal, that's completely normal business stuff and I'm used to it and I just, it's been, it's been affecting me more now. Like I've been really struggling like with feeling just tired, tired of feeling not good enough or that my company's not good enough or I'm not good enough in the planning world as like other people are, I'm not as popular or people don't like me and I just have a lot of feelings of self-doubt and um, low self-esteem but that I haven't really had in a, in a long time so it's been quite a struggle and kind of why there hasn't been a vlog in a little bit and the last one was a little odd it's just I've been very it's been hard and it's been cold and I know that the weather affects people or whatever but I just wanted to be honest with you guys because I don't want it to seem like everything's always great all the time and it is great a lot of the time and things are really awesome and I am very fortunate for everything that I've achieved and whatnot but there are definitely times where I'm just feeling like why why do I work so hard and just feel like a failure basically which sums up how I'm feeling so yeah there you go a little real real desk talk um and this is not to like for you to feel bad for me or I'm not trying to get sales or anything I'm just communicating my life experience with you guys to let you know that everyone goes through this stuff and sure that doesn't make you feel that much better in the moment but I know it helps to talk about it so there you go. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I feel like the people who watch the vlog, I'm just so much closer to than like other channels or online platforms. So I just really appreciate you guys and all your kind words of support for me and Alex and constantly being there for us. It just is really awesome. And it's very motivating. So thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, join our little family, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.